Welcome back, guys. We're uh, about to get into the winner's match here. It is Zele, who took a 3-0 very dominant victory over uh, Muzzy in our opening match, and VLPS, who had just won over Risen in 3-1. Two fairly dominant um, performances, and right now we actually have three very similar decks. Look at that. Shaman, Warlock, and <laughs> Warrior. Their lives look different, but now after the X marks, they look exactly the same. Yeah, no. are, are they the same list, actually, though, is the question. We haven't seen the Warlocks, right? Uh, we had to have, because they, they won, right? They got banned for real. Oh, they got banned. Both of them got banned, yeah, didn't they? Yeah, both of them got banned. Yeah, I think so. I just don't remember seeing the Warlocks. Mm -hmm. So, we don't know. I mean, VLPS is running more control on it. Uh, I think he could be running Reno Lock. Zelay is probably... I'm sure Zelay is running Zoo. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think Zoli is not too big of a fan of Reno Lock. Uh, actually, a lot of the players um, who end up casting these tournaments are not too big of a fan of, of Reno Lock. Where where, yeah. where do you stand on the Reno Lock, Strife Crow? I like Reno Lock. I mean, I just like these uh, control decks. I like playing Reno and making face decks suffer. It's like I think it's part of my duty. Um, <laughs> I just do my duty. Uh, I mean, uh, to be fair, though, they're both strong decks. I do think Zoo's probably a little bit stronger overall mm -hmm. in the meta, it being maybe one of, even like the number one deck, if not very close. So, yeah, um, but, Yesterday, uh, we saw something a little bit different from Dog. I believe Dog was running Demon Handlock with a ton of board clears and double Zombie Chow. So he's just really doing his duty. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's trying to kill off all the aggro players. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it seems to have worked pretty well yesterday. Uh, I think he dropped a game with the Warlock, but, um, I mean, it wasn't one that could have been won in too many reasonable ways. Okay. Um, hmm. What do you think about the Priest ban? That's kind of uh... curious. I mean, we, 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 we keep talking about how unusual and... Uh, ineffective priest is, and then we we see it banned while more traditional. Zoya is kind of a the lineup. yeah. So I think priest is good against zoo, and then it's also good against control warrior. Uh, it's kind it's of bouncing like, blade. Not, yeah, this is the what a kill them all warrior by Zoya. That's why he named it the bouncing blade one. Really, I haven't seen this before. I've never seen bouncing blade and control warrior. Like in a year, I saw tweets about it like a long time ago, and it was something about like kill them all. It was like a whole bunch of removals. I don't, I don't think Zelay is running very many minions. Mm -hmm. Definitely not running very many big minions. Uh, I think it's definitely a double brawl list. Probably Death Lords. You know, no boom. Maybe not even Grom. We'll see. Mm. I think there was Grom in that opener. Actually, mm -hmm. I think it was it was Grom and Bouncing Blade that he mollied out. Yeah, so Grom is probably too good to, to get rid of, but I definitely don't think there's boobies there. There's probably not even still lines. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I I, I kind of like Bouncing Blade. I was a bit a bit sad that there were so many aggressive decks coming out of GVG that I couldn't play the card. Uh, originally, when GVG launched, I think I had I had two Bouncing Blades in my uh, in my Control Warrior list, mm -hmm. and um, I remember the highlight of it was because back then everyone was playing Miracle Rogue. Uh, I remember. <laughs> I remember killing a uh, stealthed Malagos with a bouncing oh, blade. Whoa. Okay, but there are no other minions on board. You didn't just get super right, of lucky. course, of course. <laughs> I was like, okay, you kill a stealth Malagos with your Acolyte of Pain and your two cards. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, Grip. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, both players have the Elise. Um, there's a lot of uh, interesting analysis that uh, I've seen from this. Um, basically, from my understanding... Uh, it's not. It's not even the first player to play Elise. It's the first yeah. player to play the map that has the advantage. The map. Right, because until you draw the map, it, it doesn't actually matter. It, it it only matters when when you play the map to put the monkey in the deck. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not that. It's like I I own, the way I feel this matchup is. <clears throat> I mean, the best two cards to keep in this matchup generally are Elise and Jessica, and uh, Zelay has both, but. From my perspective, I don't actually think that Elise is that great. Um, I mean, she's really good in this matchup, but what I'm saying is, it's not really that great to play early or anything like that. Uh, Whoa, what's the matter? Yeah. Do you think that's good, though? To... Yeah! Because... Okay. Map! <laughs> Sometimes what I've seen is, like, 
the first person to play the monkey loses if the other person has a big hand because with a big hand you can use cards like execute and shield slam for one uh, tempo wise and once you play the monkey it's hard to make comebacks so, like they start playing those cards and grom and stuff I think this is much less apparent in in the deck that Zelay is playing because Zelay is not very minion heavy you know so uh, even if he pushes in the tempo with one mana removal he doesn't have like boom and you, you know those kind of cards that would really give the other player a problem so I mean that's that's kind of what I thought as well and I experienced a little bit of that on ladder but at the same time, um, particularly in these Onog tournaments that I've cast, it does seem like uh, the monkey makes a, the, an, an insane swing. It, just because it's, it's like big minion after big minion after yeah. big minion after big minion. Yeah, I think like early on, if you get it this early in the game especially, it's going to be super good. At that point, you're just having to deal with 20 legendary minions or something, and uh, like you're not really ready to just kill them all efficiently and push them for tempo. Wow. Yep, he's playing fatigue. He's playing fatigue. He doesn't even want to draw with Harrison. That's, uh, I don't know. That's interesting. I at least try to hit one charge of death fight, probably. Mm -hmm. So we know yeah. Zelay's never playing shield block. Right. But also, Zelay went first. So because of that, he's actually two cards ahead. Yeah. I, I kind of like thinking of first as like one and a half cards. Because... You're never, I think you're never two cards ahead or one, if that makes any sense. You can only be one and a half cards, you know? Because like half the time you're two ahead, half the time you're one. Depends on whose turn it is. Well, I mean, yeah. I guess that's true. Yeah. Alright. There goes Grom. You ever think you'd, you'd Grom a, an enraged Grom? <laughs> Only if I was... Oh, the monkey, play it, please. Wow. Play the monkey. I would play it here, I think. Mm. No, you, you should not, because the coin is worth a legendary. Okay, okay. But th that despite all the tempo, who cares about the one legendary where you have 20 <laughs> cards left in your deck? I don't know. I, I probably would have played him. You also might consider to forcefully draw if you have the monkey, so... If, oh, if, oh wow, Harrison. he does go, yeah, this is insane. Harrison this is monkey. exactly where you Harrison for two and then monkey. Yeah, 100% you Harrison here first. Okay. Okay, this is going to sell some fireworks. Zlay, you might be killing all where, but can you kill them all here? I don't think you can. <laughs> can you kill them all here? It's a lot of bagels. Okay, let's uh, that's a KT. That's a no, no, those are those are roughly the best possible ones. Uh, I mean, there's Jaraxxus, there's KT, there's Hogger, there's Ysera. Those are nuts. There, there's even Nexus Champion Sarad, so you could get back some of the removal you lost. Yeah. From what I've noticed, though, in these in these legendaries, I've never had a good experience playing Jaraxxus, like in Warrior Mirror and these. So I actually think Jaraxxus is kind of unplayable. You lose tank, you lose all your armor playing it. Mm -hmm. But I mean, duh, there's, there's, who cares at this point? There's too many. I would, I would tend to agree, but yeah. if you can, if you can burn a brawl, I think if you can Jaraxxus behind a hogger, you basically win the game, because you're getting eight, eight worth of power for free every turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it depends. I mean, you're at fifteen without any way to heal or taunt, or potentially. So I could see you just dying to Grom, and but Grom's gone, huh? So. Yeah. Oh man, Belcher. That is not gonna do anything here. He's using the Belcher to buy time for Brawl, I think, but... Vulture. <laughs> There's... Like... Oh, the KT is coming from this play. Uh, KT is definitely getting played if he's making that trade. How does LA win this game? I don't think he does. But he can roll back and blade clear anything. I think he might have to pass. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, I guess. What, what if you pass and they just pass and hit you for 20? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I that happens know. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's KT. Yeah, VLPS is smiling because he knows just how terrible this is for him, for Zelay right now. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't even matter that you kill everything. 
You're never killing this many legendaries. It's a Bolivar. Oh, uh, Bolivar, that's crazy too. Bolivar's gonna be a 20, 20. How much life does Bolivar have? Jeffrey, no, 10. Seven. seven. So he's gonna be a 27. Upgrade! Upgrade! Oh, that's a pretty good one. That is! That's worth, what, <laughs> five damage to that upgrade? Uh, yeah. Well, like that, six, because it's five and then another one the next turn, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Six damage upgrade. I, yeah, I, I mean, if you I get at least very see, early... Yeah, I, I can honestly see Zele just conceding any any turn here. Uh, me too. I mean, he's got to shield slam this thing before right, it gets out also of... Also, this death as a 5-2 is perfect against shield main, too. Yeah. You can't even threaten lethal because Grom's gone. Mm hmm. Oh, there's Fairy War X. That can kill roughly like 3% of the legendaries out there. Maybe VLPS will be kind enough to play one. Oh. Actually, no the only card in the whole hand that dies to the weapon is Leroy. <laughs> there's nothing else that dies to it. What do you think of just playing Millhouse? I, I mean, how bad could it be? I would as well play it here, right? You can't, you can't play with your Sarah. Not with mana. But, oh. I, I think I would play Millhouse and Hogger and just armor up. I'd be fine with it. I don't think Millhouse is a big deal. You're, it's more about grinding the amount of resources. It doesn't really matter if their resources cost zero, like the spells, right? Like, who cares if the executes and stuff cost zero? So yeah, I think it's definitely fine for him to play. No house this game. All right, there's revenge. No possibility to draw and execute though, as he's uh, he's done in terms of uh, mana. He does get the execute, but <laughs> I mean, it's not going to make an impact. Yeah. Oh, face. That's one and a half turns worth of hero power that he's just uh, countered there. What's that last card? Is that Gruel? I think it is. Looks like Gruel. It's another big minion. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it's... Cool. Girl's another one of those cards that needs to be killed immediately. This is the thing, right? Like, like half of VLPS's hand needs to be killed right away. <laughs> Do you think he would even play Gruel Millhouse? Even even if Zayla gets his own monkey, it's so unlikely he's gonna beat that, that beat that roll of legendaries. Like the the yeah. cards that VLPS got were just so good. Yeah, and he also has just so much more cards in his hand. Even if he gets, uh, even if Zelay gets the monkey, the LPS yeah. kind of more legendaries in his hand. Probably. Yeah, I don't know if that makes a big, big impact. I think the quality of legendaries is the most important thing because, I mean, even if you have ten versus like three or four, you're still like mana capped. Mm -hmm. So it's really about the quality, but the LPS already has the quality. There's Millhouse. Uh. Another nightmare. Pretty useless, actually. He's got Leroy yeah. Night Nightmare. Oh, okay. Wow, Brawl Monkey. <laughs> we'll see. He has to execute the uh, Ysera if it survives. Other than that, maybe. He probably has to kill Augur, too. So. If that survives. Yep, yes, sir, it survives. He's got to execute it here. So the question is do you play Shield main first before Monkey? No chance. No? No way. Okay. You have to go for a higher risk play than that. Like, if you get like a Hogger here, you might actually win, for instance. Yeah, or like a Pad Sky Golem, maybe. Oh, wait, that's, that's not a legendary, huh? Yeah. No. Maybe Sylvanas. Six mana, you have a lot of choice. Sometimes if I have four mana left over... Sylvanas! Oh, nice. Sometimes, I was going to say, if I had like, only four mana left over, I wouldn't really make a play like that, just because you're not likely to get a four mana legendary you play in the same turn anyways. But yeah, six mana, there's a lot. Sylvanas is so good, because... Uh, it's, it's, <laughs> there's no spell like... Right. 
Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's a pretty good play, actually. You yep. kill your pull-ups. Wow. It's crazy when you see that. <laughs> Over. Not bad. Gotta get That's Dr. Boot. Yeah. Oh, he, he can boom and play the 3-4. It's really all about tempo right now. So, I mean, if, if Zelly draws well enough, he could... He could have a chance here. He's gonna have to draw an insane card next, though. There's also two Nightmares for tempo, which is huge tempo swings. And Vulgen is a huge one, too. Oh, yeah, Vulgen is a big one. Hmm. They can't deal that last damage with Vulgen. Vulgen just can't really be used right now. Yeah. Oh, well, you can just use... You can, like, Nightmare something, and then Vulgen, and then trade, or go face. So you can just stack crazy amount of health on Vulgen. Oh, you're right. You double Nightmare there, minion, and you uh, Vulgen and trade, and you get... Oh, that's... That would be interesting play, especially with a hand that does like when you know. Oh, you're that's a Nixia. That yeah. is like the biggest thing ever. If he can get a kill on this Gruel, is that enough? That is enough. Full board Nixia. Ooh. Ellie might win this game. All right, this is when you go double nightmare revolt. <laughs> oh, you can't kill the. You can't kill Nixia at this point. Oh, another both. Wow. I, I wouldn't put him on the dead yet, but it's gonna hold in it, so it's gonna be a six eight against eight two. Mm. Oh, it's play quick! Card. You attack with all the wolves first before playing it. That's gonna hurt you more than them, I feel. With with uh, all the wolves, actually no, it doesn't. He has more decisions. He has four cards in his hand. We need, like, Mac and Hearthstone, so he could, like, type something in and have six whelps attack, then Nazdorma. Nine cards to five. So Zelly has a lot fewer legendaries. But he's drawn some really good ones. Hmm. I think he might just, um... Trade day two, or... I think he might kill the four or five and uh, just go eight face. <laughs> you gotta instant your turn after. It's a tough turn for VLPS. Oh, well, he's oh, gonna okay, get more time to think about it. Yeah, once you, once you kill it. Okay, kind of surprised. Wait. About no Alex there. I would prefer to see Alex the enemy's face. I never probably. thought about it, but why doesn't Alistraza interact with Velen? If your opponent's at 30, wouldn't you just kill him with Alistraza? Oh, is it a spells and hero I card? I think it works that way. Oh, oh yeah, it's just spells and spells and spells and spells, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. That's why. I think yeah. you're actually right. If it said anything, it would actually kill them at 30, right? Because it deals 15 twice. Vanquish might be all right here. Is this it? Wow! Nine. There's one Zelly off. Zelly is drawing so good. Every Not turn so. drawing an eight eight. Every oh, no, he turn he's drawing one. He has to deal with. Uh, he has to deal with both. It's not. He, he just have her face and try to kill both like that. It doesn't even matter. Um, four, five, six. He's gonna probably clear. I think I'm trade six, six and play Alex. No, no, he's gonna play the charge. Oh. Deal with both. He wants to clear the board. Both? Yeah. Nice. Exactly enough to kill both. It's nine damage. This is why both isn't good. There's a lot that of reasons why both is good, actually. <laughs> if that was a taunt, those would be dead. They're just... <laughs> this is dying. Uh... Yeah. Zelay ahead on tempo. Somehow, still. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Oh my. Okay. Whoa! Oh, so my I can't cast this anymore. <laughs> That's so that has to 
be the five best wealth. draw. There's five wealths. He came and traded the five wealths and leave the four six alive. It's like perfectly bad where there's five one ones and a four yeah. six. Oh my god. But a Anubarak is insane. Yeah, it's insane in this kind of game. VLPS <laughs> oh. crushed. Oh my god, VLPS gonna lose. I think he's gonna lose now. Wait, he just. Oh, he got rend! Wow. But it rend yeah, rend actually. It rend just dies though. to the it's remainder. Still no. four trades. Yeah, that, that play wasn't that great. But he had nothing else to do. What, what, what else is he gonna do? Mm. Oh my god. Number X again in trade. Keep picking up. Oh. So much value, and when they have no removal to deal 4 damage, all these big minions, like that 8 4 doesn't matter. 8 4 and 8 8 is like almost the same, you know? Mm. Ever since 8 8, 8 4 is well, perfect. He's got a Blinktron. Oh, okay. Something happened with that. Cursed Blade shenanigans. Jeez. Blinktron would be good if he could play something relevant at the same time, but he can't. Like, they had another 5 mana legendary. Yeah. I think he needs to wait. Even if he gets a weapon to kill it. No, that just card is kind of a bad card. But Zelly's uh, overall legendary quality is actually better than VLPS's, which is hard to believe. Do you trade your 8 4 to 8 8? You, you can still get a 4 4. But what if you just play a number rack again? You get in your hand or your deck? You your hand, right? That's how you play a noob rack. Yeah, you just keep playing <laughs> You're getting more 4 4s in return than infinite value. That's. Oh my god, I've got green skin. Cog oh, hammer. Not even good. No. Cog hammer goes 3 4, doesn't kill anything. Well, what is the weapon? Uh, is, true might have... is this is lethal? It? Is that lethal? Uh, 19 damage. Can you do a 19? He can do 16. It's off by 3, because Alex can do 1. Mm -hmm. Maybe just trade the 4-4 four four into the 3-4. What if you trade a Nubarak and play a Nubarak? <laughs> nah, I think it's more tempo to play, yeah. Wait, is that more tempo? I like you're, Nubarak. You're keeping the 8-4 alive, though, right? And you're getting 8 face damage in. I don't think that's... A, I like this play. I like just killing that with True Silver, killing that yeah. Alex Strazing face. Or even Velen. I don't see a huge difference in them. I think you might want to save Alistraza to heal your own face. Okay. Yeah. Potentially. I yeah. might save one turn in fatigue. Zelay is dead. This is too much tempo to come back from. Deathwing? Does that even win in the game? Olvar. That definitely doesn't. Wow. <laughs> wow. Zelay with the sick <coughs> draw after his, uh, his own uh, monkey there. Takes back the game when it looked completely hopeless. That was amazing. Uh -huh. I mean, that win was that on the back of... Right. It's like, it doesn't matter if you have 10 legendaries. As long as you get one 9-drop every turn, the best one. Yeah. Like yeah, I mean, it was... An Anubarak made a big difference, but I think Anixia made a bigger difference um, just because he, he couldn't deal with it properly. And uh, the one ones traded for so much. I think that was the big swing in tempo. Like, Anubarak is, is okay if you're losing, but it's, it's mostly insane if you're winning. He was winning because of the Anixia. Yeah. yeah. And then the the funny thing is, a number rack was actually a lot of tempo too, because it kept trading into the eight eights and then leaving behind a four four as well. <laughs> so even a number rack was like a high tempo play. Yeah. Uh, because of the Anixia, though, you know, because he was ahead. So yeah, it's crazy. Well, we do get to see a difference in decks here. Uh, Zelly is playing the zoo, while VLPS. Uh, Something else. It looks like a combo warlock seeing an uh, Alistraza and Power Overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Some kind of Reno Burst Lock, I'm guessing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think Reno is included regularly? I feel like the, the Reno Burst Locks are, you know, just kind of suffer from having a lot less damage because you can't run, uh, you can't run double, double power. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think it's still better for the most part. Especially if you're using Alex and stuff and boom. I think the versions that are running uh, No Reno are also not running Alex. They're kind of more zoo in a way. Oh. He's using Arcane. Uh, uh, Leroy instead of Arcane Gold. 
All right. Well, we see Demon Wrath there. Demon Wrath is pretty indicative of the uh, the the Reno version of this deck, um, and the Demon Wrath is probably going to be a lot worse uh, in this matchup, as a lot of the Zoo minions are demons on the other yeah. side of the board. Definitely. Um, so here you're just looking to play around as much AOE as possible soon, while developing the most amount of damage. You know, you still want to respect like potential four drops like Shredder. Uh, nothing looks good here other than a game. I guess you go face if you really want to. Yeah. Hmm. Pretty tough spot here. This is a very crappy Demon Wrath, but yeah. you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Yep. I don't think Zoo is a good matchup for the, uh, this Arena Lock because um, I think even Pal Secret Pally is better. Like, this deck runs a lot of board clear, and Zoo is doing Death Rattles at some point. What do you think about this one? Um, Soulfire helps you burst down a lot better, but Flame Imp is probably better this turn because you can play that and coin out this fighter. Mm -hmm. I guess I. I kind of like just getting soul fire. You have so much, like you already have a decent lead on board, so most of you are scared of AOE anyways. And this is so much damage in your hand. You have 10 damage from your hand. Actually, if you can't Gormok his damage, it's yeah. uh, 14 damage from your hand. <laughs> so, that was almost it. He can Gormok here. I would definitely Gormok here. Uh, abusive first. Or you don't even need to abusive, I guess. You can just trade yeah, in the Creeper. Oh, I see. Trading Creeper and then Gormok. Wow, I like that a lot. Yeah, because you're mostly weak to AoE, right? So you might as well not play Abusive, maybe. Hmm. You could also make a play where you trade in your 2-2, so yep. you waste one damage, but you get to keep a Death Rattle, so you play Abusive. No, 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 because no, you wouldn't have four minions that way. Really? If you play Abusive first, and then... Oh, one. you play Abusive and trade in the 2-2? Yeah. Oh. Well. That way you still have a Death Rattle on board. I think I like this play. I mean, Hellfire kind of sucks. Life and Soul. Is this it? This... He's got six. <laughs> no. No. This Five is short. a Hobgoblin deck. Hobgoblin? Wow. <laughs> well, that's a pretty good one. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that has to be lethal. That's 14 in hand. Uh, plus six. Oh, 20. One off. <laughs> I mean, you know when you get your opponent to one, they top deck Reno. That's just how the game works. So you don't yeah, want to do you that. Can't, you can't do that. You have to goblin here. Goblin coin. <laughs> Ooze. I like it, though. I mean, it seems very reasonable. You're weak to Hellfire, but I mean, who cares? Are you? Thing, right? Why are you weak to Hellfire? Hellfire you... kills like half your minions. Oh, the Ooze is... Uh, your the Ooze is... Uh, the... I thought those would have three health for some reason, but it's four health, right? Yeah, it's four. Yeah, so that's fine. I definitely do it. Even 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 then, I would still do it if it was at three. Because wow, yes. very conservative play. There's nothing. Oh, what there. happens if he hellfires and heal? I think he's still dead. He definitely still die, right? You're you're well, still at fifteen, and there's like four, fourteen damage in hand. Yeah, and well, damage. yeah, it'd be too over lethal if he yeah. does that. So actually, he's he's dead right now. Yeah, we know he's dead. There's only he has to tap or something, but I don't think there's anything he can go for. Maybe like a Belcher would have done it, but that's about it. This deck is so everywhere: sea giants and hobgoblins. <laughs> Going to a maximum BM. Just showing off the goods here. Yeah. An 11 <laughs> 9 spectral spiderling. These are some interesting games. Interesting text, too. Yeah, well, the Zoo deck does seem quite strong. Um, it, it's kind of. You have to rely back on the Shaman, though. Now we'll have to see what uh, strategy VLPS uh, goes with the, the picks here. Um, against the Shaman, I think the Warrior is pretty good. Uh, yeah. As far as the Warlock, that might be a tough one. I never know what to think. I think half the time you're ahead, half the time you're behind. It depends if you draw Reno, I think. so. This Warrior, it seems like it's made to beat Aggro, though, with Death Lords as well. Hmm. 
Well, yeah. Warrior with Death Lords, you kind of have to give it to the Warrior pretty pretty soundly, right? Yeah, Zelay actually goes and keeps one Doomhammer. He knows how good that card is in particular is in this matchup. Represents so much damage, and Warrior has slow openings, so... Right. Well, the start with the, with the totem going here is pretty good. Yeah, you could have done the totally. juggler to threaten a bit more damage, but it's a lot less resilient to removal and weapons. Yeah, I, I don't think it's that reasonable of a play to play juggler. Fireworks is just too big of a threat, so... Does not scare me. Hmm. It's not possible to kill this death lord here. No. <clears throat> so... You can get pretty close, though. Yeah. I mean, that's something to consider. I just don't know if you really want a totem here. I think a totem feels kind of bad. And I like the probably... piece of Anne Finley, actually. Yeah. Because you're yeah. overloading, so you have four man extra for Juggler and uh, Flame Tongue. This gives you the maximum amount of minions on board. You have a 1 3 minion as oh, well. Oh, we got a tap! So... Nice, yeah, definitely. Tap is huge. I think that's tap the best hero power in this one. Yeah, tap is the best. Sometimes you want 100 hero power or something, but. I don't oh, think. In this matchup, though, you definitely want tap. Yeah. Yeah. He gets a full clear here with that execute draw. Wow. And because he doesn't have a shaman hero power, he actually can't kill this right now. <laughs> flame tongue. Is it time? Oh, I see. So juggler flame tongue. Yeah. That could be such a disaster. That could be a. Dis it could be a disaster. It's like lose the game 50-50 on yeah. the spot. But okay, <laughs> if you do that and you and you get the juggle, would you win the game? You no, might. If it's our, do you with the game? Uh, and you, you get an extra minion on top of the juggler and the flame tongue, and you're going into Doomhammer. You might actually just win the game from this 50-50. If it's if it's win versus lose the game on a 50-50, you it. might actually take do it. it. Be impulsive. I think the point here is it's a bad matchup too, and he's yeah. and his all their alternatives oh, are not good. Oh, and he gets a charger. <laughs> uh, for the flame tongue synergy. Wow. He could have done anything that much better, right? Because all his minions are just like these tiny guys anyways. Mm -hmm. Well, a tunnel truck may have been a little bit better because of the doom hammer follow up. Yeah. It may have like I think if, if it swings twice it's better. And it might get a chance to swing twice. This is stickier though. Yeah. I think you kinda want a minion here. Mm, yeah. I mean if this was another class without armor. Uh, then you just do hammer because you, you think they die by the end of it, you know, but yep. Warrior, yeah, you want to go for probably more minion damage before doing hammer. Crackle's really good here, but you can't doom hammer. Doom hammer. Oh my You might no. doom hammer in it twice, actually. Yeah, I think now with the second, second doom hammer, you really want to get that doom hammer down. It's going to take forever to use 10 charges, or 10 charges? 8 turns to use double doom hammer. Lava Shock Burst is probably better. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe, yeah, okay, no, no, it's, it's still good. It's overload for two, so you're on five next turn, which means you can still do hammer next turn. Maybe he was scared of, uh, of Harrison or something. Well, if you're scared of Harrison, you're not playing around it this game. Not with that hand. No, yeah, that's true. It's a bash. This is a big deal here. The big range. Wow. Oh! Ow. Very, very lucky again. You oh. do here. Wait, wait, do you tap Tunnel Frog? You might. Oh! That's so good. That's ridiculous. You overload yeah. for one turn, you can Crackle and Doomhammer. There's no Brawl, too. He doesn't know that, but do you, even, you can't play around Brawl here, right? I think Zelly knows how to estimate risk in this matchup. He's done it already quite well. I think uh, he's going to continue this, uh, well... Let's hope it doesn't happen. I mean, if you wanted to play around Brawl, you would just play Doom Hammer. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't. You don't do this and then want to play around Brawl. Like, if you do, we just play Doom Hammer. Come on, Sally. Maybe it's just this Talon Frog. Be brave. Be brave. This Talon Frog is all he needs to develop here. Ah. Uh, for the overload. Oh, he gets a BGH. He can deal with that Tunnel Frog in a couple turns. <laughs> Yeah. Is 
So that's going to be four attack Town Tronk here? Oh, it's not even playing Doom. I mean, probably will, but he wants that's to see what crack the roll first. Wow. wow. That's a good one. It's a good roll. Let's see what he gets here. Oh Real. my! Biggest minion in the deck. <laughs> so lucky this game. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Alright. VLPS making comeback here with Grom into Shredder with into Doomsayer. <laughs> uh, I bet he'll make that move. Let's see, four, four nine plus four, thirteen. I think, wow. I think it might he might have to make that move actually. Maybe you slam first, see what happens. I don't know. You can't slam first. You're not eight mana, right? I think your your plays are Grom into a minion, perhaps a Shredder, or <coughs> an armor up. Yeah. Maybe you slam into the 4-3 or something and try to draw on something. I don't even know. Well, you're not on 12 yet. If you were on 12, you could try to ambitiously get a revenge. But it's not the time yet. Hmm. No. <laughs> okay, it's time. <laughs> Look at that. Zelly goes 6 0 to sweep up Group B as first seed. Not bad. Pretty nuts. He did yeah. get very lucky in that match, though, and in the uh, one before. Hmm. But. Well, oh, yeah, the one before. Uh, he also but, piloted but, very well. I, I think all of his risks were, were fully justified. And. And I, I'm actually impressed on, on, on how well he's, he's, he's made these judgment calls. Like in in bad situations, he's taken huge risks, but it feels like if he didn't, he would have just played a losing game. He played yeah, to win. And then, and and was then when he was in a good situation, he stopped taking them. Like he didn't. He actually played around brawl uh, mm -hmm. by not playing totem golem, and he knew that. I mean, he still won playing around brawl, uh, so it means that it was the correct play, right? Because he didn't need to even open himself up to brawl. So, yeah. Yeah. Pretty good stuff. Uh, VLPS is, of course, not out of the tournament. VLPS uh, came in. Uh, this is a winner's bracket. And he's going to have a 1-in-1 one one score right now. Uh, we don't know who the other player with the 1-in-1 one one score uh, is going gonna, is gonna to be his opponent. We're going to move into the losers' matches here after uh, after a short break, uh, which we will see Risen versus Muzzy. The winner of that will uh, play VLPS, and who knows? It might just be a uh, might just be a rematch. It might just be Risen versus VLPS once again. That was uh, quite a close one uh, in a lot of those moments, and uh, it's pretty exciting seeing the the less traditional decks uh, battle it out. For now, though, we're going to head to a short break. Uh, if you guys want to check out geico.onog.gg, uh, you guys can see uh, all the tournaments that are coming up. You guys can sign up to play because a lot of these are open tournaments. Um, for instance, VLPS, he, uh, he you know, landed uh, in his spot in this tournament because he won the third open uh, in, in this Geico circuit. So, you know, you can... You can try to sign up. You can try to do your best, and uh, it it might very well be worth it for you to do so. Also, while while you're on the site, you guys can uh, enter to win uh, a six cyber power PC while you're there, and uh, well, there's a few other things to check out. So make sure you head over there, and we'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> 